In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily rebuild your brake caliper. Our problem caliper lives in this 2008 Honda Civic and it's starting to make some funny sounds. Take a listen. As I depress the brake pedal, the caliper is almost making a sound like an old squeaky door opening and closing. Hear that? That sound is the caliper piston getting pushed out and then going back in. And we clearly have some friction issues, something's binding it up. I'm assuming there's a bad seal and maybe even some corrosion on that piston. So we need to get that thing out. In order to save time, I'm not going to show the removal of the caliper, but let's go on the underside of the car and see what we all need to remove in order to get it off the vehicle. Okay, we're at the underside of the vehicle and we've got a few things to take off. First, we'll need to remove our brake line, but before we do that, it's a good idea to crimp it, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But you'll need to remove this bolt right here. After that, it's a good idea to take uh, these bolts out, which are holding the uh, brake pad assembly part of your caliper on. If you don't take these off now, it's going to be much harder to get them off when the caliper's detached from the assembly. And then behind the caliper, you can see bolts right here. There's going to be one here and then one up top, and those will remove the caliper completely from the vehicle. As you can see, I took a pair of vice grips and a piece of cardboard and crimped off my brake line. There are tools that do more or less the same job, but you can accomplish it at home if you have these things on hand. Okay, now that we've got the caliper off, I reinstalled the screw that was holding our brake line on. That's going to plug up uh, that section so we can put some compressed air through this fitting right here. But first, we need to take that fitting off. Okay, this is our bleeder valve, and it is off. We're going to put compressed air right through this hole. Okay, let's put some air through that fitting. See if we can pop this piston out. Just like that, she's out. As you could hear, we got a pretty good pop on that one. Our piston is out. And here it is in all its glory. You can tell there's definitely some wear here. Um, and here are our seals. Our dust sheet seal, we can just pull that guy out. Just rip it on out of there, it is no good. And it's, it was not in good shape anyway. And inside, inside of the caliper, you can see the inner seal there. And that's the one that was probably causing uh, the noise on the piston. So all we need to do is take that one out and then clean up our surfaces. So we'll just use whatever tool you can find. This one looks like it'll get the job done, but any screwdriver should work as well. There we go. Came right out. This caliper also has this uh, metal ring and the new one was included in the kit so we're all straight there. But again, I just need to go and clean these out. My surfaces are pretty clean so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just going to take a wire brush and uh, go through there and make sure it's free of debris. Also clean any gunk out in there that you can see and we'll get the new one installed. Okay, as you can see we got our surfaces nice and clean again. And all we need to do now is put in the new seals. So now it's time to put uh, this seal in. I'll lube it up with a little bit of oil sticker in there. As you can see, that seal went in nicely. It was very easy to put in. So don't stress about that one at all. It's super easy. Let's put this seal on our piston now. Okay, so like I said, this is the back side. This is what uh, your brake fluid presses against. And so we need our seal to face go in this way. So we're gonna take our seal here, put this up and you can tell um, this seal is kind of the top of the hat if you wanna call it that is kind of pushing this way. So that's the uh, edges that are gonna extend out when the brake piston is moved in and out. So we're gonna make sure that that's facing the right way, which is this way. We'll just work it down our, our piston here. to do 
is go all the way down so it's going to hang off the back of this piston just a little bit. So just like that. Just like that. That way we can kind of work this in and then we'll push the piston in and this will seal right here on this groove. And the camera angle might not be very good for this, so just heads up. We just want to push it in, kind of push the bottom in first, and then you can get the top side after. Might have just, it might take you a few tries. Okay, I mostly got it there. It's a little crink, crinkled, but I think it'll seat just fine. So what I'm gonna do is try to push this piston in just by hand a little bit, make sure it's not binding up, make sure it's nice and straight. And everything looks good. And what we'll do is put a C-clamp on this and uh, drive it in. Okay, I've attached our C-clamp and we'll just tighten this and drive the piston in. Okay, I hope you were able to see that, but that gasket or that seal plop fit right over that valley there, that groove. So now we'll just push the piston the rest of the way in. All right, the piston is fully pressed in as you can see there. Got it nice and flush. I forgot I had my uh, a brake line screw back in there, so that's why it wasn't uh, depressing all the way. But took that out and now we're good to go. One final tip is to take your tool here and kind of look up in this area and make sure that that uh, seal is seated properly in the groove. Mine was pushed out in spaces so just go around this edge and make sure everything is nice and snug in there. If it's not, you can easily just push it back up. It took me uh, no time at all to fully seat this thing and to make sure it was perfect. Okay, that's it. The caliper is rebuilt and it's back on the car. Don't forget you need to bleed your brakes after this procedure. If you don't, you're going to have very spongy brakes and they're not going to work very well. So don't skip that part. I'd say on a scale of one to five, five being the hardest, I'd give this about a one and a half to a two. It was actually pretty simple to do. And if this video helped you, please help me by hitting the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That way YouTube might consider monetizing my channel. So please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your fixes.